An organization that represents Jewish students on campuses says the pro-Palestinian encampment protests are intimidating for Jewish students. But representatives for the group at McMaster University say everything is peaceful. Eric Viano joined us earlier with more. Well, the overwhelming majority of Jewish Canadians uh, have strong ties uh, to their ancestral homeland. And when you have these occupations of campus that are that are directly targeting that, directly threatening that, uh, that's intimidating, that's harassing. Meanwhile, in response to this, a representative of the protest at McMaster, who did not want to provide their name, says the encampment welcomes everyone, saying their cause is not a religious issue. We have Jewish people in this camp. In fact, today at 7 o'clock, we're holding a Shabbat for the Jewish people in the camp. It's not a matter of religion, right? We have religious people. We have a very diverse camp. Um, and we just want to make sure that everyone understands. Hillel Ontario could not comment on any specific incidents of harassment or intimidation, citing privacy, but says they have been hearing from Jewish students at McMaster specifically. From students' parents and from community members who are deeply concerned by the imagery that um, the occupation uh, that's happening at McMaster is showing. There have been calls uh, for intifada and for resistance. Uh, those are those are violent uh, manifestations of, of real world conflicts. Hamilton police tell CHCH News it is aware of the protest, but have not been called in by the university to assist. Meanwhile, the protesters say their purpose is not to intimidate or harass. They have been calling on the university to accept demands. Specifically, we would want um, McMaster to end the co-op exchange program. They point specifically to aerospace and defense company L3 Harris which according to McMaster's website, engineering students have co-opted at. The protesters allege L3 Harris has some connection to Israeli weapons. They are also calling on the school to disconnect from educational institutions in Israel as well. According to a 2014 article on the university's website, it signed a memorandum of understanding with Hebrew University of Jerusalem and Israel Institute of Technology. I think it would send a great message as an academic institution. You know, we want to make sure that we teach our students that um, this is going to go down in the history books and that we want to make sure that we're on the right side of history. In a statement today, McMaster University says that it was able to resume talks with the protesters and they described that conversation as constructive.